do 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 old wacky hair. Where did my go? Dadgummit, I hate when I put something down and I can't find it again. I just put them down. Oh. Got it. What's going on? What's going on guys in my name? What's going on you guys? My name is Hugh and in this video we're going to be printing my very first 3D printed part with the brand new Creality Render 3 version 1? I think? Whatever. And it is this little guy. The throwing knife from the Desperado film. Which is the one that Danny Trejo flings around in his character which is pretty badass. Let's get started on this bad boy shall we? I didn't actually mean to throw it. So let's start off by creating the actual file for this print. The program we're going to be using is called Ultimaker. I grabbed the original file from the Creality app itself, so if you guys want to check out the original file, it's down there in the description below. Totally free to download. You do need to make some adjustments to this in order for it to print the correct size, but it is easily workable. And that's the first thing I did with this file. It was so dang tiny that it was no bigger than the size of your finger. So we had to increase that size by a little bit. And due to my measurements, converting it from millimeters to inches, uh, 177 millimeters was just enough to be able to make it at least five to six inches long. Once I had the size down and the measurements were all correct, I created an extrusion to be able to block off what I didn't want the printer to print. There's a little side menu and then at the very bottom of the menu it, you can add a support block, which basically you can use that to uh, block off or add a support beam to the 3D printed file. Uh, in this case I was actually using it to block off what I didn't want the printer to print. It took a minute to kind of figure out where it, how I was able to measure out the piece, but after just fidgeting around and playing with it, I was able to just block off the top portion of the blade. I also went ahead and lowered the blade past the uh, bed point, which is the main platform or that grid that you see on the bottom of the screen. That is the, f that is the bed part of the 3D printer. And I lowered it a little bit just below the surface so that both the top and the bottom were shaved off exactly the same. Each print that you do on a 3D printer matters on the settings that you put it at. So if anything, you can use the settings that I have if you want to get the same printer that I do. Just follow the steps there or you can find a bunch of tutorials that can also tell you what settings you should put your 3D printed file on. Once I liked the file the way it was, I wanted to make sure everything was lined up correctly, the size was right, the extrusions were right, went ahead and dropped it on an SD card and chucked it into the printer. Once the blade was done being printed, I'd go ahead and took a little small flat tool just to kind of lift it off the platform. And then I brought it over to the crafting table to start sanding and removing some of these supports on it. Since the print came out really smooth, I didn't really need to sand it too rough. So I took the lightest sandpaper I had, which I think was a thousand to two thousand grit sandpaper, folded it up and just went over the entire blade a bunch of times, make sure it got off some of the rough surfaces from the, uh, the raw print. Once the blade was sanded down the way I wanted it, all the rough surfaces are gone, took a little bit of that silver chrome paint and then just lightly brushed it about two or three times. So you're seeing this video before I went to MegaCon, 
uh, because I want to present uh, a couple other files that I printed before we got to the main part, which is this guy. And you notice it hasn't been signed yet, but this is my copy of uh, the throwing blade, the throwing knife. And this is going to be my copy for Danny Trejo to sign. Since this thing took only an hour to do, I made another one. And I'm actually going to give this one, this raw file, to Danny Trejo himself, just as a little collector behind the scenes uh, item for him to put in his little stash. As a matter of fact, I may even make this a keychain, putting a hole through here so he can hang it on his car keys or something, which would be pretty fun. So the file initially was this guy. And it had this really odd, bulky kind of shape to it. The rest of it was very slim, very accurate to the film itself. But I didn't like how the blade was dummy thick. <laughs> That's not, it looks more like a ninja throwing knife than the one that he used in the film. So as you saw in the video, I shrunk it down a little bit and got rid of the bulkiness to it and then flattened it out. Uh, mellowed out a little bit of the support memes on it to uh, print it out and I think that came out a little bit more accurate than the dummy thick one that came out uh, the first time I did this. And as you see in the finished product, this is the final version. Like I said, this is not signed yet by the man himself. This is before. So the, his signature is going to be on the end of the blade there. And all I did was take the, that metallic silver paint and went over it maybe once or twice and then it just adhered to the surface of the uh, PLA material. So to be honest with you, for the first time getting into 3D printing, these guys actually turned out really damn good. And this was so much fun to just play around and increase the size of this, shrewd off some of the uh, bulkiness that I didn't want. I could probably make five of these and make his actual belt piece. Or if you want, if you have a 3D printer of yourself, um, I will also leave the file on, I think it's the Creality or Cura webpage, so that way you have the code to just put on the SD card or USB dri uh, flash drive and just chuck it on the machine itself for you guys to be able to print it. Totally free, you can slap it in the machine, make sure your settings are good, you know, calibrate everything before you print it and clean your surface, because I learned my lesson last time that I didn't clean the surface of this thing and it turned out to be a really weird stringy device that just printed out on the platform. But overall, not bad for the first 3D printed couple of objects here. And there's gonna be more coming in the future for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a fat thumbs up. Don't forget, link in the description if you wanna try this file out. If you have a 3D printer, I'll leave that down there for you. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. Stay tuned for the giant MegaCon video coming out soon. And I'll see you goons. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that.